Hey everybody, welcome to our 30th quick tip. Quick tips are now the big 3-0. Uh, today's quick tip is going to be about creating playlists in YouTube. Playlists are especially helpful uh, for faculty who are organizing a channel for a specific course. So you can kind of group videos together, be they your videos or other people's videos. This is the Bramman CII YouTube channel. So you can see you can set this up uh, however you want. You can have a preview for your channel uh, and then you can organize by playlist. So how do you create a playlist? I'm going to go over here to our new channel that we created in the last quick tip. Uh, the first and easiest way to create a playlist is to actually go up here to your video manager. Your video manager is where you're going to manage all of the videos in your course. So over here, you're going to see playlists. If you click on playlists, and you'll notice that I haven't created any playlists yet. So I'm going to go up here to new playlist and we're going to call this awesome videos. And we'll go ahead and make it public. Um, that does mean that the playlist itself is searchable. If the videos within that playlist are unlisted, they will be visible. If they're private, they will not be visible. Um, but keep in mind that uh, we do try and keep everything unlisted if it's going into a course. So we'll go ahead and just make this unlisted so that way everyone in the world can't search for our playlist. And I'll go ahead and click create. So here we are, this is the, the uh, main header of our playlist. Now we want to obviously add videos to this playlist. So we go over here to add videos. And you'll notice that you can do a video search for any video that's on the internet. So the best thing to search for on the internet is cats. So go ahead and search for that and awesome. This is a great video. So we'll go ahead and select that to add, add videos. So you notice it adds it right here. We're gonna go ahead and add more videos. Uh, if you have the URL for a specific video, you can add that here, or you can go to your own YouTube videos, anything that you've uploaded and add those as well. So we're gonna go ahead and create, uh, um, select multiple ones here. We'll go ahead and add all of them to a playlist. And there you go, there's your playlist. You can uh, reorganize these uh, by clicking and dragging over here on the edge and setting which videos you want to be, uh, you know, with the order that you want the videos to be in. The first video is going to be your uh, main thumbnail, so keep that in mind. You can add a description. And then right here, you can share this playlist. Playlists are especially helpful if you want to have a chunk of content that may sometimes update. So you can take this YouTube playlist link, paste that into your course or even the embed code, even better, so they can just view the video right inside the course. You can share that, put that into the course, and then when you want to change this content, say I no longer like this Funny Cats video, I wanna make a different cat video, I can take that out and put another video in and I don't have to go into the course and update this link. This playlist link always remains the same. So that's why it's super helpful to, to create playlists. That's one of the many reasons actually. Um, I wanna show you one other way to create a playlist and that's from uh, where you upload the video itself. So this is where I've uploaded these two videos. If I want to return to editing here. So as I'm uploading the video, I'm able to set the privacy status to public or unlisted. Um, we'll leave it at public for now. And then you'll notice that I can add to playlist. So this is gonna populate any of the playlists that I've already created. If I had a bunch of playlists, I could select the playlist that I want that video uh, to go into. And I can also create a new playlist right here. Studio playlist, unlisted, create. So then you'll notice it automatically checks it there. I don't want this to go into the awesome videos. I want it to just go into Studio Playlist. And then I want to save my changes. So then if I go back here to Awesome Videos, actually if I go to My Channel. So now I want to make my channel look a little bit better. I want to organize those playlists a little bit so I can make it look a little bit like the Bramman CII channel. I can go over here to this gear. Turn on Customize the Layout of Your Channel and click save. Boom, so now I have the ability to 
put videos up there so students can constantly come back to this channel, see what they need to watch next, um, what's available. I can add a section and add specific uh, playlists here. I can sh highlight other channels if I need to. Um, we're going to go uh, a single playlist and we're going to select the studio playlist. Click done. Boom, so now we've added this playlist here if I ever add any other playlists. And also when people come and view my channel, right now I'm viewing as myself. If I wanna view as someone who's subscribing to my channel, this is what it would look like. I have videos, I can see where those are at. If I go to playlists, all of my playlists are listed here as well. And that's that. So creating a YouTube channel, excellent way to organize and store videos and share videos. Um, also creating playlists to then embed inside of your course. Enjoy.